Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Vibe. He made his very first appearance in Justice League of America Annual, Volume 1, Issue Number 2, that was released in 1984. But his most current iteration, which I'll primarily be covering today, made his debut in the New 52 Free Comic Book Day Special Edition, Issue Number 1, that was released in June of 2012. His real name is Francisco Ramon, a.k.a. Cisco, with it being noted that his middle name is actually Paco, which is an homage to his original iteration's name. Vibe is a Latino male hailing from Detroit, Michigan, standing 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing 145 pounds, also having brown eyes and black hair. His powers are not as cut and dry as you might think, being much more than just a metahuman that can cause vibrations. That being said though, he can emit very powerful vibrations from his body, which can range from being very subtle to all the way up to leveling a mountain. And although it's not always easily recognizable, Vibe's body is constantly vibrating at the exact frequency of a boom tube, but I'll explain that later. His ability to manipulate the fabric of reality lets him not only rip tears between space, time, and reality to dimensionally travel, but it also allows him to disrupt extra-dimensional energies, which has been shown by him hindering speedsters while using the speed force. Vibe can also sense extra-dimensional energy signatures, literally knowing when and where a breach from a different dimension will manifest as well as being able to track beings that use extra-dimensional energies, such as speedsters again. Another benefit of his unique powers is that he can actually see a complete and detailed read on anyone's past or current timelines, basically being able to see someone's entire life just by touching them. And to round all of this out, Vibe's abilities actually grow and get more controllable the more and more there's tears across space, time, and reality, meaning that any time there's a dimensional breach, Vibe's power set potentially grows. Now, his story begins when one day Cisco and his brothers were unwittingly caught up in the event horizon of a boom tube opening. This seemingly killed his brother and trapped him in between of dimensions for a period of time. But this was just long enough for the interdimensional radiation to rewrite his DNA. Subsequent to this, he was studied for years without his knowledge by the government agency known as Argus. And one day when an agent named Dale Gunn tested his powers, he passed everything by an exceptional margin. He would then be given a special suit developed by Argus and would officially become Vibe. Not to mention that he was also told that the very next day, he would become a member of the powerful new team called the Justice League of America. From that point on, Vibe would actually use his powers to pinpoint incursions by extra-dimensional beings into Earth's reality. He'd be well-trained at progressively getting better and better at using his powers against these breachers if they proved to be hostile. Now, for his powers and abilities and his influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Vibe a rating of 5, which is an enigmatic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.